So the last kind of acid neutralization I'm going to demonstrate to you is a metal acid neutralization. So it's neutralizing acid using just a metal. So the metal I'm going to use is magnesium. So I'm going to place a strip of magnesium to a test tube along with some two mole per liter hydrochloric acid. So immediately you start to see a reaction happen, you start to see gases being produced, you start to see fizzing and bubbles. So let's test and see what gas has been produced by the reaction of a metal and hydrochloric acid. Also it's quite exothermic because the test tube is getting quite hot. So gas has been produced, you see buns with a pop, which means that the gas produced is hydrogen gas. So, when a metal and an acid re react, a neutralization reaction happens, and the products of that reaction are a salt and hydrogen gas. No water is produced in the neutralization of an acid using a metal, just hydrogen gas and a salt. So, we're going to be looking at page 35 of our booklet now. And we're going to look a wee bit more into the theory of what happened there in that reaction. So we had magnesium, we had hydrochloric acid, and hydrogen gas was produced. So you might be asking, okay, does every metal react similarly to magnesium when you put it in acid? Does every metal neutralize acid the same way magnesium does? Well, the answer is no. There are only five metals at National Five level we have to know about that, identif uh, that we have to identify as being able to neutralize hydrochloric acids or any dilute acids. So the five metals are called the mazit metals, M-A-Z-I-T, and those metals are magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, and tin. So the mazit metals are the five metals that neutralize an acid when placed in an acid. Just pure the me purely the metals. So on page 35, um, I want you to complete the note that says the metals M, A, Z, I, and tin, sometimes called the mazic metals, all react with acid. So we can fill out that note, first off, with the metals that are on the board, the mazic metals. Next, we're going to look at the general equation. So this is the third general, third and final equation we'll look at for metal metals reacting with an acid. So we looked at metal carbonate, we looked at metal oxide, and we're looking at purely metal. So the general equation is a metal plus an acid. It's going to give us a gas. Which gas? Well, it burns with a pop, so it's going to be hydrogen. And because we've not got a carbonate or we've not got an oxide, we're not going to get water formed in this reaction. What we get instead is just hydrogen and our salt. So the product of a metal acid neutralization is hydrogen and salt. So we're going to look specifically at the reaction that I just did there. So this is our general equation. So we get the specific equation. So we had magnesium metal. We had hydrochloric acid. And that gave us hydrogen. And it gave us a salt. So what salt? Well, we take the name of the metal for the first name of the salt, but then we take the surname of the salt from our acid. So what is the salt name that comes from hydrochloric acid? Well, that's going to be chloride. So we get magnesium. So the products of magnesium reacting with hydrochloric acid are hydrogen and magnesium chloride. So we've looked at our general equation, we've looked at our specific equation for the reaction. Finally, we're going to look at, you guessed it, the chemical equation. So magnesium plus HCl. So you should know the chemical symbol for magnesium without, you should probably, or you should definitely know the chemical formula for hydrochloric acid. 
should definitely know the chemical formula for hydrogen, H2, because it's diatomic. And then the formula for the salt, you can work out in your head, think about the valency, or you can use the SVX method. Quick use of the SVX method, SVX, MgCl, symbol of magnesium, symbol of chlorine. Valency, two, valency, one. Magnesium's in group two, means it's got a valency of two. Magnesium, uh, chlorine's in group seven, means it's got a valency of one, due to having one unpaired electron. Cross over, get magnesium, one, Cl2, then we can do from it the one. So the formula for magnesium chloride is MgCl2. Okay, so there is our general equation, there is our specific equation, and there is our chemical equation. So what I want you to do now, bottom of page 35 and start of page 36, work through the examples given, as well as filling out the Mazet metals and the general equation for metal acid neutralization.